What's going on guys? We have ah, quite the video here for you today. As you can see, it's raining. And secondly, we've got a mystery cooler right here. Let's take a look at what's inside. Boom, big ass snakehead. That boy, that's a six pounder right here. It's got a giant belly. We're gonna cut her open and uh, see what's inside. So, I've got a little confession to make. You guys know I've been doing some more catch and cooks during this corona period. I must admit, I have not been the one cooking or cleaning the fish. It has been this person right here, my camera person, who we will now refer to as KP. KP has been doing the work. I don't know how to do this stuff. So KP is gonna be taking care of this snake head right here, cleaning it up for me. Let's go ahead and gut the big one first. I wanna see what's inside. There's gotta be something in that one. There's gotta be something, whether it's eggs, a mouse, a little baby. I don't know, this guy is fat. This is a fat mama. 6.45 pounds, gigantic Franken fish right here. We got a knife upgrade here, guys. Went to a seven inch filet knife. That's a big boy right here. This guy is as sharp as a Japanese katana. Look at that, slicing right through this ginormous snake head. Is there anything in the stomach or is it empty? I see, I see some intestines, I see a gallbladder, I see a liver. There we go. This is what kept it breathing. Oh yeah, yeah. Lungs. It's lungs? Wait, 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 is it lungs? Those aren't lungs. What Do snake heads have lungs? Why wouldn't they have lungs? Because usually fishes have gills, but right? They can live outside the water without the gills. I know. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But unfortunately, this snakehead was just fat and fully fed, but did not appear to have anything inside his stomach, which is uh, a little bit of a disappointment, I'd say. There we go, hosing off the meat. Look at that, guys. Beautiful white meat. That is gonna make for a delicious meal. Nice and soft and white. KP, you did a good job cleaning this fish. Good stuff. I'm freaking freezing out here. I'll catch you guys inside, and we're gonna cook up a delicious snakehead meal. How are we thinking? Is this gonna be an easy task or a tough task to uh, cook this fish up? Cook it easy. Flay it hard. Hard? You think you can handle it? I need to try to get flat first. Oh, look at your hands. <laughs> now tell me you haven't handled fish that this slimy before. This is the slimiest fish you've ever handled? It's the slimiest fish I've ever handled. <laughs> That's like, disgusting. It's not. I know. It's like you. <laughs> Why is it like me? You're a snotty boy. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Like this. Let's do this. Bring that knife right as close to the spine as possible and the rib cage. Is that right? Yeah. Looks like you're doing a good job. But now you're running the knife against the bone again to get any extra meat off. Is that what we're doing here? Yeah, you have to run it down. Way better than I would have done it. This so I think these are these are called the pin bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about those. <laughs> Skip that meat. Oh, nice. I'm losing a lot of meat. That's okay. I mean, it's your first time playing a fish is big. A snakehead. And a snake and first time playing a snakehead. So oh. just do your best. Next time it'll be a lot better. Within a couple months, we're gonna become fish filleting experts. I mean, that's a that's a decent chunk of meat, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a little bit of meat left on the bone, but you know. A lot. Yep, perfect. I mean, this looks like textbook, te sounds like textbook technique. That knife is running right against the ribcage of this fish right here. Boom. Well, this is indeed more meat. It's also more of uh, some other stuff too. We'll see how KP does trying to remove the skin from the meat. That's the trickiest part in my opinion, that we should be left with two clean fillets. Oh, I think you got it right where you need it. That looks pretty solid right here. You know, yeah, and the pink meat is no good, so you don't want to eat that anyways. Do you see that pink meat? Mm -hmm. That's the fishy meat. They usually want that nice white meat. Nice knife work right here. Nice smooth strokes up and down. You're gripping it tightly with your non-dominant hand. Perfect job. Beautiful. 
Finish that sucker off. Oh yeah. That's what we're left with. That looks pretty good. What do you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, what should we do with this? Throw it, out, throw it on the ground outside, right? Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Go ahead, throw it out there. Oh. <laughs> good throw. Yeah, you should go down the line, take out the pin bones. Oh, come on. Oh, easy. whoa. You do not want to choke on that thing. That thing will mess you up right there. Is that easy to pull out? No. No? <laughs> All right, maybe we should cook it first. Yeah. Do the honor of holding it. Holding it? Yeah. It's my turn. It's my time to shine now. Do my plate. Yeah. This thing is cold. A little salt to season it. Yeah. I want to add as much flavor as possible to mask the fish taste. It's not going to taste fishy. Yeah. Snakehead is delicious. You've never even eaten snakehead. Yes, I have. Have you really? Yes. Okay, fine. Sounds. Smells hot. Oh yeah, it's ready to sizzle. Boom. So this is gonna be snakehead in its purest form. Salt, pepper, not even any oil. This is just pure fish. So are we gonna do something this after we cook it or what's going on? What's what's gonna be what's gonna how are you gonna transform this piece of meat? How do you eat it? With lettuce. Okay. And uh mom. I don't know fish what that sauce. is. Fish sauce, okay. You would not like it. <laughs> well, how am I going to eat it so I like it? We can put Chick-fil-A sauce on it. All right. All right, Chick-fil-A sauce sounds pretty good. Probably this one. Oh, yeah, I can't say no to Chick-fil-A sauce. All right, that's going to be the way I'm going to eat it. And can we get, like, some frying action or some oil going on in here? This one's just pure fish. Is that going to taste good? We eat it. I haven't eaten dinner yet. What do you mean I'm not going to eat it? You're not going to eat that. This is my dinner. You don't like fish. <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna cook and eat one bite and then throw it away. That is all right. Now that Nikki said that, all right, then eat the whole thing. Yep, eat the whole thing while we film you. Challenge is on, guys. KP and I are gonna eat the entire fish, six pound fish for dinner. Eat every single bite. Why is it KP? Because camera person. Isn't it CP? No, but I like KP, so that's the way it is. Doesn't make sense. There's a lot of things that don't make sense here, but this is the way it is. All this fish meat going to my belly. <laughs> Take a look here. The light fishy odor. Not terrible, but not really appetizing to me as someone who doesn't eat fish. Thanks to Nikki, I now have a big challenge ahead of me. You think I'll be able to handle it? Absolutely not. You want to make a bet? How many bites do you think I'll be able to take? I think you could eat like like this much you think i can only eat that much yeah, before you start gagging. <laughs> i'm not gonna gag at all but this is a lot of meat that's only one half of it so this is actually a huge quantity of fish i've never eaten this much fish in my life i'm eating a lot of chick-fil-a sauce that's all i can say you ready to be flipped oh yeah boom look at that look at those grill marks i mean that looks like it could be a long chicken breast this meat is very flaky. Yeah, it is. I mean, snakehead meat, I mean, as many of you guys know, snakehead is touted to be one of the best tasting freshwater fish in existence. I mean, maybe maybe North America. I don't know. I don't know. But I, it's supposed to be really good. I've heard people say that the flavor profile of snakehead is between a hybrid between lobster and shrimp. That's what people say. I don't know if I agree with that because I don't I've never even eaten lobster, first of all, and I don't really remember what shrimp tastes like, but when I made when I cooked that snakehead the other time I fried it up, it tasted pretty good. Let's see if it's ready. Lift her up. What do you think? Getting close to being ready? It should fall apart. Make sure the thing is cooked through. That looks pretty cooked. Because it has some parasites in it. We don't want to be ingesting no parasites, you know what I'm saying? If there were any parasites, there would be long dead. Long dead? Alright, that's what I like to hear. That's exactly what I like to hear. That's looking like... Look at that. That's like crab meat. Look at that meat, guys. That lo actually looks pretty freaking good. This is some high quality meat. Very thick part. So yeah. Thick you know what's great about this meat? It's going to help me get my gains on. I've been getting ripped during this quarantine, guys. Got nothing else better to do besides get shredded, catch fish, eat fish. That's about it. So the grilled snakehead is done. It's looking very white, very flaky, but probably kind of bland. It has no seasoning, no oil, no nothing. So 
This is gonna be the second preparation. We've cut the other filet into cubes. Then right here, we're gonna have egg wash. We have seasoned flour with salt, pepper, and paprika. And lastly, got some Japanese style panko seasoned breadcrumbs. Added in some olive oil to the skillet right here. And uh, we're gonna cook that up. That's probably gonna be delicious. Oh, you're doing a double coating here. Okay, I see what's going on here. So we're getting extra flour. So this is gonna be an extra delicious morsel of uh, snakehead nugget. This is a, a step beyond what I did when I prepared my snakehead nuggets. So this is actually gonna be pretty legit right here, but the thing about this step is that this each nugget is taking quite a bit of extra work, putting a lot of love and attention to each of these snakehead nuggets. Nugget going in. Let's get some light up in here. Boom. That probably three minutes each side, something like that, and hopefully it'll be cooked. All right. The process is egg wash into flour, back into the egg wash, back into the flour. Then we press it into the panko breadcrumbs. Oil's a little too hot, and we're gonna have to turn on the fan because my sister is not a fan of fish, so she's gonna be real upset when the house starts smelling like fried snakehead everywhere. But yeah, it looks like these guys are browning quite a bit, so we turned on the oil. I will show you guys the finished product when we're done cooking it. Yeah. Moment of truth, guys. Here is our snakehead nuggets right here. Look at that. Now those are several times better than the ones that I made. I mean, you can just look, look at the, look at, look at this. Look at the crust on them. Look at that golden brown crispy crust. That is beautiful. And it smells way better than when I, when I made it, it smelled was kind of, something was a little bit funky going on, but these guys, they smell absolutely perfect. Check it out. We actually cut into one. I've been learning to use chopsticks, by the way, guys. I've never, never learned how to use them. Learned this year. Look at this. Look at that. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? That is a golden crispy, if I've ever seen one. We're gonna get ready to eat, and I'm gonna show Nikki what it means to eat fish like a man. Time to enjoy this dinner. Nikki's gonna film for me because she thinks that I'm not gonna eat all. This. Nikki, come look at look at this food. I'm about to mukbang the heck out of all this food. Oh, wow, this is a real mukbang setup. Oh yeah, we got Ooh. the grilled snakehead, we got the fried snakehead, then got some rice, and uh, you know, cause you know what we're dealing with. Then I've got three different sauces, Chick-fil-A buffalo sauce, yum yum sauce, homemade by KP, and we've got some uh, some kind of Korean honey mustard. Dad, you ready to eat? Ready. You excited? Well, uh, I did a little scouting report first. I'm not that dumb. Okay. You remember you gave something to our Grandma Lou? Yeah. So I thought I'd get a little background. I started off, you know, with a generic question. How is a snakehead fish? Now, if you think my answers are long, let me read you this one. <laughs> All right. Here it is, and cut out. Can I wash Nikki? my hands first? Yeah, wash your hands. Oh, I forgot, uh, Nikki, um, who won that last one on one, the, the last horse basketball, the last game we played? How, how many won? Who how won the last? Just answer the question. Who won the last so game? So they were playing basketball, Nikki versus my dad in horse. Nikki played on her high school basketball team. My dad, as you guys know, played on his high school basketball team. And who won the last game? He won the last game, but I That's won. That's all we needed here. Before we get started right here, guys, pretend that this is COVID. This is what I think of COVID right here. Guys, ready? In time, you dad? Uh, I'm gonna give you a three, two, one, go. Uh, let's go. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Eleven point four three seconds. <clears throat> that is a new personal record. I don't think any of you guys can beat that, but if you try it, make sure you're over the age of 21. Now, we're gonna get into our meal right here. First, I'm gonna try the Snakehead Grilled Salt and Pepper. No oil, no nothing. This is just pure Snakehead meat right here. Give it a little whiff. It smells a little fishy, I'm not gonna lie. We're going in.
Wash it down with a little uh, rice and watercress. Shout out to KP making uh, making that watercress. Never had this before either. Snakehead, I'm not gonna lie. It's not super fishy, but it is a little bit bland. Dad, you wanna try the uh, fried snakehead? So, instead of washing my hands, I'm gonna put a glove on. Do you know the history behind these gloves, Michael? No. I buy these 20,000 at a time. Great thing to do. That's pretty good. Which one do you recommend that I take? I mean, you typically like your things pretty well done, so I'd go with one of these two extra crispy guys right over here in the corner. Well, if you recommend the ones that are well done, I'm gonna eat the one that's not well done. All right, fine with me. What do we think? It's fantastic. What, is, what does it taste like? What can you compare it to? One word, good. Okay, great. I mean, you would make an excellent uh, food critic with your vast vocabulary. I'm gonna go for one of the snakehead nuggets too. Compare it to the plain grilled one. This one, as you guys know, has a lot more seasoning, a lot more stuff going on. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Mm. This is way better yeah. than when I made my snakehead nuggets. This is, I mean, this is something I could eat. Yeah. I told Nikki I would eat all this food. If I tried to eat all this, I would probably die. If I ate, I could probably eat all this within a minute and a half if then I wanted do it. to. I'm not gonna be able to savor it then. This is so delicious. I mean, I, I'm not, I can't even go out and get Chick-fil-A anymore. I'm You're stuck, full of excuses. I'm stuck eating food in this house. This is actually a meal that I want to savor. So I'm gonna eat all these and I have three different sauces to try. One, homemade yum yum sauce. Let's try this out. You just double dipped. So, <laughs> are you gonna eat it? No. What does it matter? It doesn't matter. Creamy, spicy, tangy, that yum yum sauce on point. Now we're gonna try Chick-fil-A buffalo sauce. Was that from my supply bag? Yes, it was. Okay. I've got a long snakehead nugget right here. And dip this guy right in the sauce. A little bit of heat, vinegary. Better without the sauce, isn't it? I like with the sauce, but it's good anyway, any way imaginable. So far, my favorite way is definitely with the yum yum sauce. Mom, you wanna try a piece? No? I just like to go on the record, Michael. Even yeah. though I said this fish is extremely, extremely good, mm -hmm. it is nothing compared to your mother's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> your mom's cooking hands down. Now, we're way better. <laughs> we're gonna try the. Uh, this Korean. She's gone now. No, I was lying. <laughs> I had a Korean honey mustard sauce right here. Smells pretty good. That's pretty good too. You know what would be really good with that, Michael? Well, when I used to work at McDonald's, I used to eat fish fillet sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Everyone put tartar sauce on there. I would just put ketchup on there. Try the ketchup. Change your gloves because you never know there could be germs in the ketchup bottle. <laughs> You're a germaphobic freak. I've been called a, called a freak before, but never a germaphobic freak. <laughs> I can make an improvement to this. So guys, normally I'd edit out a bunch of this and make it Short and sweet for you guys, but since Nikki challenged me to eat all this food, I'm gonna eat all these nuggets right here just so I can say I beat Nikki in her challenge. No, you said you'd eat the whole thing. Michael, do you want to make? Do you want a uh, potato <laughs> bread sandwich? Nah, I'm good. Nah, okay. I'm good. Guys, look, I'm just breaking a piece of this off, so don't worry. It's still safe to eat. It wasn't like someone bit off of that. That's good. Dad loves it. How's that? Make a sandwich. Make a sandwich. Definitely better. <clears throat> all right, I'm not gonna bore you guys or make you watch me eat all this food. We all know I'm about to eat it. I'm gonna take Nikki down in her bet. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can speed it up. I'll catch you in the next video. No, I already said it, we gotta do it. Signing out, this bites for you guys. Enjoy, see ya.